evening, everyone, and welcome to St. Mary's High School, where tonight the Rough Riders welcome in the Salina Bulldogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. And tonight's game is brought to you by our premier sponsor, Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get you the results that move you. Our presenting sponsors are the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve, your bank, your way, and the St. Mary's Foundry is a big, excuse me, is big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team, Go Riders. So, Gilly, it's the battle for the lake. This is a big rivalry down this way. These two teams don't like well, each other. Well, it's the Route 33 shootout, so to speak, and, you know, opening night of the Western Buckeye League. You know, you can get one game up on everybody yeah, else. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, it's tough that they have to play one another. You know, I was telling you in pregame that and I had the pleasant opportunity to go over last year and cover the Salina game with St. Mary's at Salina. And Salina, you know, went on a roll there early yeah. and uh, had a hiccup at Walpock, regrouped, got to the state semifinals before losing to Watterson. Yeah, that, that and St. Mary's, you know, come out of the shoot last year, not playing their best football, but they had a tough schedule right off the, the get-go. Sure. And, but they regrouped and made the playoffs. So, yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting contest. Like you said, it's right down the road from one another, and uh, it's opening night in the league. we got a great crowd here tonight. It's a beautiful weather. You know, driving over, we saw that thunder shower, but it's, it's long gone now, and it seems to – cool things off, but yeah, we're in for an entertaining game, partner. Yeah, St. Mary's will take the kickoff. Uh, our officials tonight are Bill Krug, Bob McCallow, Matt McCallow, Steve Orn, Charlie Gasparetti, and Chad Howard. So, Gilly, last week St. Mary's took a good St. Henry team down 33-14, and this Salina team put up 50-plus against Columbus South. Well, they do what they do best, and that's run the football, and they had two players last week go over, you know, 100 yards rushing the football and only having to throw it, I believe, three times. Uh, actually two times, yeah, two times. without complete. Yeah. But you know what St. Mary's is going to bring to the table. You've got to play, you know, eight in the box against them guys, and you've got to plug the holes because if you let St. Mary's run their offense, they can hurt you. And, yeah. and secondly, they will destroy the time on the clock also. And we are just about underway, and there is the kick. Two men deep for the Rough Riders. They'll take it at the five-yard line. They'll bring it across the 15, to the 20, to the 25. He shakes the tackle. He's up the right side, to the 40. He's got one man to beat, and he is going to be taken out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. A fantastic start for the Rough Riders, yeah, Gilly. it sure was. If it wasn't for the kicker slowing him down, I think he would have found his way down the right sideline, opposite side of us to pay dirt, but he was shoved out of bounds. The boundary it appeared to be number 32. Yeah, Taylor Compton was the, uh, the guy that took it all the way down there. The Rough Riders are coming out on the field. They'll be led by number 14 quarterback Jacob Kessler, 6'1", 185-pound senior. And Gilly, I was here last week. He only had to throw the ball two times. They rushed for 405 yards. Yeah, darn. You know, 0 for 2. <laughs> you know, they got a three-headed monster, Gilly, and Colton Mabry, Caleb Schmidt, and well, Dominic Osmond. you know what Osmond. you're going to get. They're going to run the football in a variety of ways. They'll go first man up off the left side. He'll go to the line, and he'll get about three yards. And the ball carrier, first carrier of the night for the Rough Riders, is number 24, Dominic Osborne. Dominic Osborne last week had a huge game, Gilly. Yeah, big game. You know, like I said, both, both uh, running backs over 100 yards. Nice to see. Makes it a little bit more of a luxury for them. Now, Ian Mullins right there on the stop along with John Lutz, both linebackers. That'll bring up second and eight from the 42. 11-19 to go here from St. Mary's High School. There's the first man up, and they'll go about a half yard. Nice job of the Salina defensive line. Boy, and that's exactly what they're going to have to do, Gilly, to slow this offense Yeah, they got to plug the gaps, and the linebackers are going to play a very important part tonight in slowing them down. The defensive linemen are going to have to match up with their offensive players, especially the pulling guards. That was big number 34, Colton Mayberry, the 5'10 senior, 200-pounder. Boy, a little, a lot of different running styles with that three-headed monster. You've got Dominic Osborne, more of a scat back that can get out and break containment. And then you've got Colton Mabry and Caleb Schmidt who just like oh, to they're pound, power the backs. <laughs> pound the ball. Pound the ball. They'll sweep the ball across to Mabry. Mabry goes to the left side, and he'll get a gain of about three yards. Good job there by Caden. Wernst coming up there to hitting below the knees and knocking him down. But there's a prime example by that young man. Mr. Mabry's going to put his shoulders down, get his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, and he's not going to run around you. He's going to try to run through you. That'll bring up fourth and one. 
Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporters of Mercer County Athletics. So here comes the first fourth down play, fourth and one from the 35. They're going to get the first down easily, and that is a Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Dumfries, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. On the stop there appeared to be number 56, Ian Mullins, along with Cameron Elson, but not enough, like you said, partner for St. Mary's Rough Rider first down. Gilly, I can't say enough how we get treated down here. These uh -huh. folks are fantastic. They've got us set up in a great situation here. With They've got everything we need. They, we, we get treated so good Just here. Just put our pencils down and <laughs> run our mouths. There right? goes Osborne. Tries to go around the oh, left nice side. Open field and tackle. a nice open field tackle there. By number 56 for Salina. Ian Mullins. Ian Mullins with a nice Called his day. name a lot, Mr. You, Driver. You know, Gilly, against a runner like Dominic Osborne, you got to be able to tackle in the open oh. field. And that was a prime example of how he got to the boundary and really contained the run. Yeah, you got to beat him to the spot. That'll bring it second and five for the 28. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School on the campus of St. Mary's High School. 9.20 to go. This big time rivalry, the battle for the lake. What'd you call it? The. Uh, the uh, Route 33. Route 33 rivalry. Yeah. yeah, there you go. They'll hand the ball off again to Mabry. He goes up the middle. It gets about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. The, the amazing thing about this offense, Gilly, is they're they're perfectly fine with two and three yards a pop, and they'll just continue doing it. Oh, yeah. That. And, yeah. and, you know, the other thing is it, it, it turns the game into – a clock yes. situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already down to 8.52 here in the first quarter. St. Mary's is on the drive. Third and three from the 26. Kessler under center. He's going to hand off to Mabry. Mabry goes off the right side and gets a gain of about two yards. He'll be taken down close to another first down. And let's see if they give him the first down. Yeah, they'll go first and 10. That's another least famous recipe first down. First and 10 from the 22. 8.38 to go first quarter. Tied up at zero. Cameron Nelson on the stop for the Bulldogs. You know, a rivalry like this, Gilly, all these kids know each other. They live down the road from each other. Some of them are related. That's what makes this so much fun. Oh, absolutely. Kessler will go under center. He's going to swing the ball back. They'll go left side and take it oh, down. what a pretty play there. Absolutely. Big number 38, Caleb Schmidt, the 5'11 junior. As he goes for about two yards, that'll bring up well, maybe three. That'll bring up second and seven for the 19. St. Mary's continues to pound the rock as they move down the field. 8.07 to go in the first quarter. Gilly, yeah, we thought Corbin we thought. Lehman, yeah. nice tackle right there in the open field. We thought it had uh, cooled down a little bit when you and I walked in, but they say the temperature is about 88, 89 degrees. It wow. must have went back nice up a little Nice little breeze bit. up here, though. Yeah, it sure is nice up here. of the sun. Here goes Mabry as he cuts back to the middle, picks up a nice chunk of change there for about four yards. Big Colt Mabry. He he just he just he looks for contact, doesn't he, Gilly? Well, he <laughs> he tried to bounce it outside, but did a really good job planting that outside foot and cutting it back up, trying to find the seam. And he's going to get what he can get. Uh, yeah. And one thing about it, he's going to lean forward with that football. That'll bring up third and four from the 16. Our first quarter sponsor is the Citizens National Bank. See how we're bidding businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Citizens National Bank is our quarter sponsor. There's another handoff off the left side. Mabry tries to go, and he gets not a whole lot right there, and that's going to bring up another fourth down, Gilly. Yeah, he tried to bang his way as much as he could, but Cameron Elson, along with the teammates, stood him up, kept him from that reaching that first down marker. 6.58 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard as the Riders continue to drive. We're fourth and one from the 13-yard line. wonder if they'll pass it or throw it, Gilly. What do you think? <laughs> Save that for this Save weekend. That, that's you? right. <laughs> Kessler under center. He's going to give it to Mabry, and he gets the first down easy. <laughs> He's going to pick up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. And he is in the Thermal Guard Red Zone. Our Red Zone sponsor tonight is Thermal Guard, quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimates. Brought down there by Wesley Graber, Gilly. visiting Bulldogs. Th this is impressive, Gilly. They, they are just using a lot of the clock there. 6.20 to go here. Kessler will go under center. He's got that three-headed monster behind him. He's going to hand off to the left side as he tries to break containment there. And again, Dominic Osborne taken down right about the uh, seven, maybe the six-yard line. We'll see where they mark it at. At the seven, so that'll be second in goal from the seven-yard line. Really good play there by number six. Corbin Lehman, he was one of them last year, partner, that 
you know, they, they went down to, to Wapak and, and didn't play very well, but they also had a series of injuries. Yeah, they did. And they lost a couple linebackers. And then I think Merlin got dinged up. And, you know, Wapak, to their credit, put it on them pretty good, and they there, bounced back. There goes Mabry as he goes towards the goal line. And that'll bring up third and goal. And Gilly, to Salinas' credit, after that Wapakoneta game last year, they regrouped and had a great tournament run, did they not? Sure did. <laughs> they really did. Appeared to be Graber on the stop there for the Bulldogs. That'll bring up third and goal from the four-yard line. 5.20 to go. No first downs here, Gilly. They got to punch it in from the four, so we'll see what they do here. Kessler brings the troop out, troops out of the huddle. They'll hand off to Mabry. Mabry goes right up the middle. And did he get in? No, they're saying he's short. They're saying he's short, Gilly, at the goal line. This is going to bring up a fourth and goal from the goal line. He did not get in. Well, I'll tell you what, that right side got a big push for St. Mary's. and Yeah, he's about a half a yard short. Elson met him at the... Goal line pushed him back a little bit, kept him from breaking that plane. So a great job by the Salina defensive line as they have held here. We're fourth and goal from the one-yard line. Let's see what the Riders do here. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School. Here comes Kessler. He brings the troops to the line. They're going to hand the ball off to Mabry right at the middle, and he gets a touchdown. He gets a Pantry Pride touchdown. Pantry Pride is our touchdown sponsor. That means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. And with 4.24 to go on the Wabash Mutual scoreboard, the Rough Riders take a 6-0 lead, Gilly. Not bad. A <laughs> seven-minute, 36-second right. drive. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what a drive, and that is authentic St. Mary's football. The same thing they did last week. They just took it right at them. So St. Mary's will bring on the try for the extra point here. Bradley Triplett will try to kick it in. Our extra points tonight are brought to you by Wright State University Lake Campus. The snap is back. The hold is good. The kick is up, and it is good. So with 4.24 to go, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Salina Bulldogs 7-0. We'll be back with more action right after these messages. We're back here at St. Mary's High School with 4.24 to go in the first quarter. The St. Mary's Rough Riders have taken a 7-0 lead as they take the ball 44 yards and Colton Mabry plunges in from the one-yard line. That was pretty impressive, Gilly. Well, yeah, and you know what? For, from Salina's standpoint, they didn't give up the big play. No, they, you're right. They did not. They, 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 they did You the, know the, the kickoff. The kickoff yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. St. Mary's kickoff return, you know, you know, sort of pinned Salina back a little bit from a defensive standpoint. Right. But they didn't give up any big plays. It was just St. Mary's ability to do what they do and do what they do best. And, and that's uh, basically try to run it between the tackles and every once in a while bounce it outside. But more importantly, get on the scoreboard and take some time off that clock. So Salina will send two deep. Bradley Triplett will kick it off here for the Rough Riders as he booms it away right down the middle of the field. It'll be picked up at the five-yard line. It goes across the 10 to the 15 to the 20 to the 25 to the 30. The ball's on the ground, and St. Mary's recovers. Oh, a boy. huge mistake. Big hit right there. A big hit and a fumble, and St. Mary's recovers. You want to talk about hello, howdy, duty? The St. Mary's Rough Riders, Gilly, are in business again. Absolutely. They're in business right now. Parker Beam right there, recovering that football, pouncing on it. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies. With locations in Coldwater and Greenville, you're going to get some great shots from our instant replay team tonight, and it's brought to you by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies. So the St. Mary's Rough Riders, Gilly, they're going to take the ball again at first and 10 from the 31-yard line. Yeah, great field position. Kessler gets him up to the line real quick. He's going to hand the ball off. They go to the left side, and there's a flag on the play. Or play a stop. Timeout. A timeout. we got a timeout. We got a timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where with 4.16 to go, the St. Mary's Rough Riders are taking a 7-0 lead, and they just picked up a huge fumble on the ensuing kickoff. Gilly, they're right in business at the 31-yard line. Well, and this is where, you know, it's going to be a game of turnovers and winning the battle of the line of scrimmage. And right now, 
Well, They're up it, one on the turnovers yeah, and they're controlling the line of scrimmage. Here's the thing, too, also. You're talking about temperatures in the high 80s. Mm -hmm. This Salina defense it just got off the field, and bam, they're right back it, on it the field. It'll wear on you. Yeah. Kessler gets into the line. And they'll hand off the ball to Osborne. Osborne goes up the middle, and he carries guys across the 25-yard line. Dominic Osborne showing you he's not just quick, Gilly. He's strong. Well, and Cash Patrick got to tackle, but it wasn't for not until he got five yards. Cash Patrick's everywhere, Gilly. He's, he's playing a nice game right now. <laughs> Our timeout sponsor tonight is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential farm, commercial and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable and available. 1-800-776-3097. Here goes Osborne again off the right side. He finds a hole, and he bounces it through for another least famous recipe first down. Dominic yeah. Osborne, the quick scat back as he gets through the line with ease. Yeah, he almost high-stepped it through there yeah, if did. it wasn't for John Lutz. And John Lutz is one of the faster kids <laughs> right. around here. He's a good athlete. He, he had to stretch out as far as he could to get him by the ankles. If he didn't get him, he was going for pay dirt. 3.33 to go. Clock continues to run. St. Mary's leads 7 to nothing. Here come the Rough Riders. They'll go first and 10 from the 20. They'll hand off to Osborne again as he goes up the middle. A gain of about five yards. And they are in the Thermal Guard red zone. Thermal Guard and windows and doors. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit ThermalGuardWindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimates. Elson and Cash Patrick on the stop right there. So second and five for the 15. Rough Riders hurry to the line. Boy, they put the pressure on you every play, Gilly. They're going to hand the ball off to the first man up the middle, and he's going to get a gain, maybe about three yards. Nice job by the Bulldog defensive line. That was Dominic Osborne again. Boy, this, this offense, this wing tee is really hard to prepare for, Gilly, especially early in the season when you haven't seen it a lot. Exactly. You know, there's not a lot of teams around here that still run that, and that's been St. Mary's bread and butter for years and years and years. Mullins on the stop along with Elson. St. Mary's 1-0 and on the season, as Salina is. We talked about both their wins. There goes Osborne again up the middle. Dominic Osborne, the workhorse right now, as he's taking the ball to about the, uh, we're going to say nine-yard line maybe for another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. That'll make it first and goal for the nine-yard line. And don't look now, Gilly, but here come the Rough Riders knocking on the door. Graber coming up from his safety spot to make the tackle. Yeah, guess who hasn't touched the ball for a while? Yeah, exactly. The big fella wearing number three there and come, four. Yeah, there's Mabry as he goes through the middle of the line. My goodness, he is just carrying people. Big number 34, Colt Mabry. And he just gets better as the game goes on, Gilly. He does. He wants the football. Here's second and goal from the four-yard line. 143 to go. Clock just continues to run. St. Mary's uses every second of that clock. Kessler runs to the line. He's going to hand the ball to Mabry up the middle, and he's going to be stopped short at about the, uh, we'll call it the one and a half maybe. That'll bring up third and goal. The official Wabash Mutual scoreboard's telling us third and goal from the one, so we'll give it at the goal line. Mullins and Elson on the stop for the visitors. And you see Salina, the defensive lineman, Gilly. You see him holding their hands up high or holding their hands low. They're a little tired right now. Here goes Mabry again up the middle, and he gets another Pantry Pride touchdown. Big number 34, Colton Mabry scores another Pantry Pride touchdown, and he makes it 13 to nothing on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Yeah, that's one of those where a turnover turns into a scoring opportunity, and the way as St. Mary's is executing early on here in this first quarter, they did exactly what they wanted to do, and that was drive the ball down on short field and punch it in for another six, Triplet possibly come, yeah. seven points. Triplet will come on for another Wright State University extra point. Snap is back, hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. With 103 to go in the first quarter, the St. Mary's Rough Riders on a turnover take it in to the end zone to make it 14 to nothing. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back here with 103 to go on the campus of St. Mary's High School. The Rough Riders lead the Salina Bulldogs 14 to nothing. And Gilly, as you and I were talking off the air, 
Salina's got to do a job where they keep the ball here for some amount of time to give that defense a chance to rest. And those kids going both ways, they don't have to score, but they do have to turn the field over. They've got the you know they've got to get some type of drive going here, like you said, and get some get some time management offensively. And like you said, they don't have to score, but establish something and give those kids a rest that. Yeah. Play solely defense. Right. Our question is how many of those kids on the defense right. are on the offensive yeah. side of the ball. And look, Salina's got plenty of athletes. They've got athletes all over the field. They just got to get this offense going. Any type of score here would be huge momentum for them and get it, you know, we'll see what happens. There's the kick, and it's a deep one down to the four yard line. He'll bring it up. This is Wesley Graber as he goes to the left side, goes up to 30. He gets to the 35, and that's where he'll be taken down. So a nice job by Wesley Graber of getting the Bulldogs some good field position. Yeah, appeared to be pushed out on the boundary over there by number 37. And here come the Salina Bulldogs. They'll be led on the Parker field by beat. number one quarterback, Bobby Morris, 5'11", 165-pound senior. And, Gilly, I like the way this kid plays. He's a dual-threat quarterback. He's got a nice arm, and he uses his feet when he gets in trouble. He does. Yeah, he's he's one of those kids that will put it on the – put it on the uh, – ground with his feet and, and move the ball. He is very athletic. I, I'm curious yeah. to watch St. Mary's defensively to see how they're going to uh, establish themselves and what they're going to do. Morris is in the gun. He's got two to the right, one to the left. He's got a back in motion. He takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself, and there's a flag, and they got too many guys in motion. I can tell you right now what that was. And Great call. Yep. <laughs> I saw too many men moving, and that's what they got him on with 51 seconds to go here in the first quarter. You know, you've, you've been part of uh, the WBL rivalries before. Uh, th these are special nights for these kids. They'll never forget these games. That's right. You know, they've they've tied up on some good ones in the last two, three, four years. They sure have. This don't, is don't gonna, think This yeah. is going to be a dandy, too. Don't think St. Mary's didn't forget about last year. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Bobby Morse is in the gun. He's got a back off to his right side. He's got a man in motion, and he's got two to the left. He's going to hand it the first guy up. He gets to the 35, to the 40. He goes to the side. He is going down the sideline to the 40, to the 30, to the 20. Can he outrun him? He's got one man to beat, and he gets tripped up. My goodness, number 11 for the Bulldogs, John Lutz, with an unbelievable run all the way down to the red zone at about the nine-yard line. Didn't we say he could run? Oh, my goodness. We did. Super athletic, but I'll we tell you sure what, did. give old uh, number 37 – Mr. Uh, Parker Beam right there with a touchdown saving tackle. And that might be the life that uh, Salina needs, Gilly, because John Lutz just took them from nowhere to the penthouse, and they're at the 10-yard line. They are in the thermal guard red zone. Well, what a great job up front, opening the hole up, allowing him to get through there and scamper down the far left side there before being pushed out at the boundary. Morris is in the gun. He's got two backs, one on each side. He's going to hand it up to the first guy. As he goes to the right side looking for blockers, and he's taken down hard and a big-time hit. Number 93 for the St. Mary's yeah, Rough Yeah, put Riders. a lick it on, didn't he? He sure did. Caleb Turner, the outstanding defensive lineman for St. Mary's. That kid is everywhere, Gilly. Well, I'll tell you what, I really like this defensive lineman, Owen Ott. You know, the kid's only a sophomore. He grew a lot between last year and this year physically, and – he played a heck of a game over there at Salina last year and was, you know, wreaked havoc on Salina getting in the backfield. And that'll do it after one quarter of play from St. Mary's High School. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Salina Bulldogs 14 to nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back for second quarter action here from St. Mary's High School where the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Salina Bulldogs 14 to nothing, but the dogs are knocking on the door. They are second and goal from the 11. Morris is in the gun. He's got a back to his left. He's got two receivers to the right, one to the left. He's got one man in motion. He's going to keep it himself as he goes up the middle. There goes Bobby Morris as he streaks towards the goal line, and he gets to the goal line and is knocked down, and he's going to be short of a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Wow, what a great job there with the little RPO right there, and he tucked it, and... Took yep. off with it, got a great kick out block to, to get him. Go, you want to hear something past that line of scrimmage? Something fascinating. First quarter time of possession. St. Mary's 10 minutes, 51 seconds. Salina, 109. Oof. <laughs> that is total domination. But hey, here come the Bulldogs. 
Third and goal from the goal line. Morris is in the gun. He's got a receiver off to the right. He's got a John Lutz oh, off to the right. Oh, boy. And we got a, yeah, one. he's going to burn one timeout. That's his second of this half. There's a timeout on the field, Gilly. We're going to take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football. WOSN. Tonight's timeout sponsor is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential farm, commercial, and industrial. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 1-800-776-3097. Our second quarter sponsor is the Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at CNB Ohio. And I want to thank our premier sponsor, Binkley Real Estate, and our two presenting sponsors, the People's Bank and St. Mary's Foundry. Man, the sales staff did a great job this week, Gilly. Oh, I'm telling They're you. They're keeping me hopping, ain't they? <laughs> They're keeping you on your toes. That's what I we like. We love it. Oh, we got Because I'll tell you what, if we don't have the That's right. support from the community and the businesses, Here comes we wouldn't be in this seat. Morris is in the gun. He's going to keep it himself. He goes up the middle. And he, does he get in? I think yes, he, he does. He scores another touchdown for the Bulldogs. A pantry pride touchdown. Pantry pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Gilly, the Bulldogs are right back in it. Well, they had him at the one-yard line. Just his momentum carried him in that will to cross that plane. That's all you have to do, and sure enough, he did. And Carson Smalley will come on for the Wright State University Extra Point. We want to thank Wright State for sponsoring our Extra Points tonight. Whether you're interested in associates or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. So number 22 for the Bulldogs, Carson Smalley. Kick is up and it is blocked. It is blocked at the line of scrimmage. And yeah, it, is, it appears yeah. to be number 12. Nice job there by the Bulldogs. 11-19 to go in the second quarter. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Salina Bulldogs 14-6. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School where the Salina Bulldogs got a much needed touchdown, but the extra point was blocked. Don't forget tonight's game will be rebroadcast re on WSN Saturday at 7 p.m. So the folks can watch us Saturday at 7 o'clock. Gilly? Yeah, that number 12 from St. Mary's happens to be Luke Borns. Coming in from that right side, extended his body and got his hands on the football, swatted that thing down, and we're sitting at a 14-6 to six game. Slana's going to be kicking it off to the Rough Riders. Back deep for the Rough Riders is Trey Moore and Dominic Osborne. Both of those run, or both of those players are dangerous return men, and they're going to keep it away from both of them. They kick it to the up man, and he fields it at about the 23-yard line. He goes to cross the 25 to the 30, and a nice return there. And that is, if I can see a number, yeah, big number 80 for the Rough Riders. Let me get a number here. That is Cameron Danmeyer. The up man takes it and does a nice job of bringing it up, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. You know, instead of running north and south, he tried to come east and west and found a little seam there and got as many yards as he could. Yeah, Cameron Danmeyer is a big kid. Taylor Compton <laughs> got him to the ground. Or excuse me, I'm wrong there. That wasn't Taylor Compton. 32 partner from Salina. 32 is Noah Talmadge. Okay, yeah. my apologies, Noah. Great tackle there at open field. So here come the Rough Riders. They'll go may maybe right up the middle, and he goes across the 35, a gain of about three yards. Well, it's got to hurt to tackle him. <laughs> he's just looking to hurt people. Holy he, smokes. He, 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 when he gets the ball, he has bad intentions. He's, he's hitting people. Well, that's a thud. Colton, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Colton Mabry. Man, I don't want, you know, I'm glad you're here with me and not Oof. him. I'm, yeah, I'm afraid of that kid. I'm, I'm hurt <laughs> already just watching. He is. He's a great player. They got a lot of good ones here at St. Mary's. 10.44 to go. Rough Riders lead 14 to 6. Danny Holmberg, Darren Gilbert on the campus of St. Mary's High School. Kessler goes to the line. He gives the ball to Dominic Osborne. Dominic takes it across the 39 to about the 40. And that'll bring up, uh, they're going to call this on the Wabash Mutual scoreboard. Third and two from the 40. Patrick on the stop. Mr. Lehman on the previous stop where he brought down Mr. Mabry. I'm telling you, Gilly, this offensive line, they just run to the line. They're, they're ready to play. They'll pitch it back out to 
Osborne. Osborne goes across the 44 to about the 45, we'll call it the 44, and it's another Lee's famous recipe. Well, he just down. leans. They lean forward with the football, and they keep them legs a moving. You know, they held him up. He just made the extra play. Graber kept him in front of the chains, and that second ever got him that first down. 9.56 to go here in the second quarter. Rough Riders lead 14 to six. Kessler gets into the line quick. He's gonna hand the ball to Osborne. Osborne sneaks through, and a big time gain of about nine yards, maybe 10, Gilly. He's got him close to another Lee's famous recipe first down. Big play right there by that young man, just churning them legs, getting as much as he could. Yeah, Colt Mabry, the leading rusher right now for the Rough Riders. No, oh, I'm sorry, Dominic Osborne has 47 yards. Colt Mabry has 45 yards. And Caleb Schmidt has three yards, the three-headed monster for the Rough Riders. Mullins on the stop, but not like you said, till worked his way for nine yards. And they take, it, they take that first down away. They say he didn't get the yard, second and one, but he picks it up right there. And that's another Lee's famous recipe, first down. So he didn't get on the first try, but he picks it up there with 9-10 to go in the second quarter. Host of Bulldogs bringing the Rough Rider down. Appeared to be Lehman on the stop. Yeah, it's it's got to be frustrating Mullins. to force the line that they can't get off the field with their defense. They can't get a stop here. St. Mary's yeah, just they, keeps coming they, at you. It, you know, unless St. Mary's turns the football over, yeah. you know, they cannot be giving them chunks of yards at four and five yards a crack. Maybe he picks up three there. Cool. That's, you know, they got four there, partner. Got four, second and six from the 41. I know it sounds a little silly no, for, no, no, to no, say no. something, but, you know, when you get four and five yards up at a pop they're, 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 and you execute what you're supposed to do, your game plan, you know, you're going to force – it ain't going to be the opponent. It's not going to be St. Mary's first line. It's going to be the clock. Absolutely. And I know we're only in the second quarter, but sure, sure. fatigue's going to be setting in when you start seeing kids grab their knees and you know, fatigue setting in. He'll go Colton Mabry as he goes across the 40 to about the 39-yard line. Gain of about two. That'll bring up third and five from the 40. Great play there by number 51, Elson. Now, this is a big-time play right here, Gilly. At third and five mm -hmm. from the 40. If you hold him to a, a gain of you know a yard or two, you got a chance to maybe get the ball back. Right. 7.55 to go. Yeah, you put him in a – you put – St. Mary's in a situation third and five. That was a great play right there by the Bulldogs. Kessler gets into the line quick. He's going to go Colton Mabry right up the middle, and he just keeps churning out the yards close to another Lee's famous recipe first down, but I think he's going to be short. Yeah, he's going to put him in a third and long situation, almost a third and three. Fourth and three, Gilly. That's a third down All right, play there. Excuse yeah. me, fourth and three. Fourth and three. So Salina, a huge play right here, Gilly. Fourth and three from the 38 with 7.22 to go. And the crowd is on their feet. Hey, Gilly, speaking of crowd, we got a huge crowd. Got a huge tonight. crowd it's here just, tonight. A lot of crazy yeah. white on the other side. Place is packed. Here come the Riders. Here we go. Kessler brings them to the line. 7.09 to go. He's trying the hard count to try to maybe draw him. No, he's, oh, he drops the ball. Looking for his man. He's going to take him down. And Salina holds on down. Scott. Yeah, he sort of fumbled the football. Juggled it a little bit, and that just dis disrupted the play. I think he wanted to go to the outside, and that is exactly unfortunately what couldn't. And Jacob Kessler dropped the ball Mr. on the Berkey, turf. Johnny on the spot, so to speak. Or his name is Parker, so Parker on the spot <laughs> with a stop right there, forcing, huge, forcing the turnover on downs. Huge stop by the oh, absolutely. Bulldogs as they are down 14 to six with 6:59 to go. Yeah, Kessler dropped the ball on the turf, tried to pick it up and go to the left side. Immediately met by the Bulldog defensive line, and they made a great play to stop him. Well, it was it was Mr. Berkey. He shot in there and grappled him to the ground for a solo tackle. Here comes Morris. He's in the gun. He's got John Lutz off to his left side. He's got two to the left. He's got a man in motion. He'll go into the slot position. He takes the – gives up to Lutz, and he goes across the 45 to about the 46-yard line. Big John Lutz. They're going to lean on him a lot tonight. Oh, Gilly. yes, they are. Mr. Ott with the tackle. John Lutz, the 6'2", 200-pound senior. We got to see a lot of him last year, Gilly. He's a oh. really nice football player. You had him and the Gabus brothers. Yeah, they were, they were really good. And then you had Merlin <laughs> on the front line. I mean, they, they were really good. That'll bring up second and seven for the 45. 6'29 to go. Salina trying to get into the end zone before halftime here. 
tighten this game up. There goes a man in motion. They're going to give it to him. Off to the right side. He goes across the 50. He gets to the 47-yard line, and that's where he'll be taken out of bounds. And... Knocked out of bounds, but no flag on the play. The Salina sidelines wanted the flag, and the ball carrier was Wesley Graber. Uh, we saw him already. He's he's an electric player, so they'll lead yeah, him. Cameron Dammeyer, you know, really close of getting a late flag there. I think he pulled up. He, you know, he did the smart thing and raised his hands up. Yeah, to, you know, to, even yeah. though he made contact with his chest, I think the officials are looking for the hands on the jersey. So Graber gets another Lee's famous recipe first down with 6.15 to go. Salina moving the ball across midfield. Bobby Morris is in the gun. He's got Lutz off to his left. There goes Graber in motion. Morris is going to keep it himself. Goes across the 45 and sneaks through to about the 40-yard line. Bobby Morris showing you his athletic ability as he gets through the line and picks up about six yards. Yeah, odd on the stop along with a host of his teammates. Appeared to be number 93. Also in on the stop, Caleb Turner. Caleb Turner. Big time defensive line. Oh, yeah. That kid can play. Sure can. Second and four from the 40. 547 to go. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School. Glad you could join us tonight. This big time WBL matchup. Week two of WBL matchup. Doesn't get better than that, Gilly. Week two <laughs> and it's opening week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Week two of the season. <laughs> opening WBL week, though. Absolutely. <laughs> There goes Morris. He's going to hand the ball off. Goes across to about the 39-yard line. Gain of about one. That was number nine for the Bulldogs, Parker Berkey, the six-foot junior, 225-pound battering ram. Big stop there by Caleb Turner from the linebacker spot. Our instant replay tonight is brought to you by Layfield Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Actually defensive end, but a great play there by that young man. 5.01 to go here on the Wabash scoreboard. 14 to 6, St. Mary's leads. Morris calls the play at the line as they adjust the coverage. He's got one to the left, one in motion. He's got a man in the slot. Morris is going to keep it himself. And he gets tripped up. And a big time play. Mr. Turner. Are you kidding me? Wow. Mr. Turner shot through the gap and made a big time play. Boy, is he quick off the ball. He is real quick. Gilly, it looks like we got an injury on the field. We've got a Salina Bulldog down. We're going to let them tend to that young man. And we'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School with 4.38 to go. The Rough Riders still lead 14 to 6. And, Gilly, we got an ID on that player that was down and walked off on his own accord. Yeah, that, you know, that was Mr. Chilcoat, you know, two-way player for them. Played on that fabulous team last year. Played a lot of minutes and played a big part. And we're glad to see him get up and walk off under his own power. Here come the Bulldogs, fourth and one. A big play here from the 39-yard line. Morris takes the snap. He's going to throw it. He's got his man out there, and they pick up a nut. Oh, no, they did oh, not. Sure. Oh, my goodness. I thought he had it when he caught the ball. Gilly, he had nothing but grass in front of him, and a terrific job. Wow, Luke, by the Bourne, Luke Bourne's coming up. They from stayed at home. Spot. Absolutely. Yes, they did. Boy, did they close on the football and close on it fast. So a turnover on downs, and I thought for sure they had that, and that's why I started to say they yeah. picked it up. <laughs> What a job by the St. Mary's defense. My goodness. Yeah, so, he really wasn't even close to the first down marker. He was, what, two, three yards short? And, he, and when he caught the ball, there was nobody yeah. there. And boy, did they, 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 they shedded did. the tackles and used their hands. And Here comes Kessler and the Riders. They'll go Mabry up the middle, and they'll gain about two yards, maybe three. Clock continues to run, 4.09 to go. Rough Riders lead 14 to 6. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School. The battle for the lake here. Lutz on the stop. Oh, that's good to see. It is Dalton Chilcoat's Dal back in the Dalton game. Dalton Chilcoat is back in the game. You're right. Clock continues to run. Overcast skies, Gilly. Might get a little bit of rain. They're calling for some tonight. Let's hope not. Lights are on here at the stadium. And a great job by the Salina defensive line. Oh, and guess who? Mr. My Chilcoat. Goodness, Mr. Chilcoat on the play as he throws Caleb Schmidt to the ground after the play. And the St. Mary's sideline erupts, wanting a flag, but no flag was called. I think the officials are doing a great job of controlling this game. They I are, really you know, and, and as soon as you know the tackle was done and the whistle was blown, there was there was some communication between the official and the player that a little bit over aggressive, but at least, you know, spoke to him. 
bring up third and seven from the 40. And th these, are, these are situations St. Mary's, you know, doesn't like to be in a third and no. seven. They don't pass the ball. They're going to go Mabry as he goes across the third, and he picks it up easy. Forget what I just said, Gilly. He just picked it up like it was nobody's business. Cold Mabry, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. He picks up another lead. I was thinking more down. along the lines of uh, – a train of choo-choo. <laughs> I mean, he just barreled his way for the first down right there. You're absolutely right. Colton. Great play there by Graber there to make the tackle. We're going to call him Colton Choo-Choo Mabry because he's a train, Gilly. <laughs> Caleb Schmidt, the ball carrier on that run. Brought down by Cameron Elson. Going to bring him second and eight with the full for the dogs. 2.42 to go. Riders run to the line. Kessler under center. He's going to hand the ball off. This is Mabry again. Here he goes. Oh, nice job there. And sure a great was. tackle Mr. there. Lehman. Corbin Lehman, the 5'9", 185-pound senior, comes up and makes a great tackle. Yeah, he's, he's a returnee that covers a lot of ground, very experienced at that linebacker position, and they're going to lean on him for his leadership and his experience, and what a great open field tackle. Bring up third and six from the 45. Boy, Gilly, this has turned into a slugfest, and we are fortunate to be here. Riders lead 14-6. Kessler hands off. First guy through. This is Osborne. He goes across the 40 to about the 37-yard line, just short of the first down. Or they're going to call it a first down? It's, yeah, they are going to call it another Lee's Famous Recipe first. I look like he got about seven yards, but the uh, line markers were not up yet. But uh, here we go, first and ten. Lehman and Mullins on the stop for Salina. So St. Mary's in a little bit of hurry right now. This is Colton Mabry. Goes across the 35, gets pushed towards the 34 to the 33, and that'll bring up second. And let's see what they're marking it at. At about second and six from the 34. Clock continues to run, 135. Riders lead 14 to six. And boy, what a, what a charge this would give St. Mary's oh. if they could put it in the end zone before halftime, Gilly. Well, and a charge for Salina if they could get a stop here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I absolutely. Mean. Either way, they'll go Dominic Osborne. He tried a little counter play, and the Bulldogs were ready for it, and they stifle him right in the middle of that line. And it looks like we've got a... Appeared to be Parker yeah. Berkey on the stop. Yeah, yeah like St. Mary's going to take a timeout, yeah, I think, yeah. partner. We're, we're going we're to keep it right here, Gilly, because I want to thank some of our sponsors. Our premier sponsor, Binkley Real Estate, has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get you the results that move you. Also, the People's Bank, today's presenting sponsor. We are invested in the communities you serve, your bank, your way, and the St. Mary's Foundry, big on supporting the community and Rough Riders teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team, Go Riders. So 113 to go, Gilly. Look, you were exactly right. If Salina can find a way to hold and keep him out of the end zone, what a win that would be for them That's going correct. into the locker room. That, that absolutely right. Because remember, they won the toss and they declined till the second half. You're right. Yeah. And you saw what happened the first time they got the ball. They fumbled. So, mm -hmm. And then their next drive, they came out and just really took it to St. Mary's. And since that, we've played even football. Yeah, and St. Mary's, you know, I believe has two timeouts left here. So... I'm sure he's going to, Coach Fry is going to use those two timeouts the best yeah. suits right. his needs and his ball club. Absolutely. Right. I think Salina is left with one. Kessler gets him to the line quick. He'll go Dominic Osborne off the right side, and he takes it to about the 30 yard line. Clock continues to go at 106. And let's see what they do here. That'll bring up fourth and two from the 30. And. Landon Black on the stop. St. Mary's is going to take a timeout. St. Mary's takes a timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout on the booth. You're watching high school football at WOS. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School with 104 to go. St. Mary's Rough Riders are on the march again as they got the ball at the 30 yard line with 104 to go until halftime. And Gilly, they've they, they had no no passing attempts to this half, right? None for St. Mary's. I'm just wondering <laughs> if he's stretching his arm out a little bit. I was just thinking the same thing. He's gonna pull a pass here. You watch. Kessler runs to the line. And Salina's so gonna, yep. gonna take a timeout. We're gonna keep it right here. That's um, their last one of the half. That's their last one. 
Hey, we want to thank our extra point sponsor tonight, Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in an associate's or a bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. And how about our scoreboard sponsor tonight, the Wabash Mutual Telephone Company. Proud supporters of Mercer County Athletics and our instant replay sponsor, Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies, with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Don't forget, tonight's game will be rebroadcast on WOSN Saturday at 7 o'clock. Darren Gilbert and I will be coming right through your television sets. We appreciate you joining us. Also, join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. It's the Three Wise Men podcast. Now, that Three Wise Men, I don't want to hear a word from you, Gilly. Don't, don't touch me. <laughs> we, made, we made a comment last week when we, when we were over at USV, and we kept it very, we were very professional about uh, it. Patrick told me he was going to say something. He did. <laughs> They go Colton Mabry right up the middle, and there he goes across the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Dominic Osborne scores. Dominic Osborne scores another Pantry Pride touchdown, and the Riders take a 20 to 6 lead. My goodness. I thought that was a Mabry. powerful yeah. young man. He I, broke tackle after tackle and just ran his way to the end zone. Yeah, I thought it was Mabry at first, but it was Dominic Osborne. Yeah. You can see the speed as he goes to the end zone for a Pantry Pride touchdown with 57 well, he seconds ran to go. It like, he ran it like. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Osborne, he I sure mean, did. or I mean, Mr. Maber, he put his head down and just went. Kept breaking tackles all the way to the end zone. So another touchdown for Dominic Osborne. He's got 90 yards on the night already and 16 carries. And Brady Triplett comes out for the extra point. The Wright State University extra point with 57 seconds to go. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up. And it is good. So with 57 seconds to go until halftime, the St. Mary's Rough Riders take a 21 to six lead. We'll be back right after these messages. Back here at St. Mary's High School where the Rough Riders take a 21 to six lead. And I'm telling you, Gilly, the good folks at St. Mary's, they gotta carry me here. They're helping I'm me out of the I'm used to seeing them numbers on <laughs> the scoreboard for timeouts. He's, he's carrying me back he here. He is, well, he's, both of us. They, look, they fed me, they, they they tell me what I need to do. I'm, they're, they're the best here. <laughs> they treat us great here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 57 seconds to go, and Gilly, boy, that was a big touchdown. The facility the is Riders. unbelievable. It sure is, this is a beautiful you know, facility. They, they, you know, had a little presentation before about the WBL yeah. volleyball yeah. champions, and then they turned around and had, trying to think of the name of it, the backers. Yes, the back of the kick, the ball goes to the two yard line, comes across the 20, he goes to the right side, he gets that little crease there, and he gets up to about the 34 yard line, so a nice return there. For Salina, that was number four, Wesley Graber. Boy, Wesley Graber's a nice player with the ball in his hand. Gilly. He sure is. So we got 49 seconds to go. Let's see what the Bulldogs can do here. You know, they want to get something out of this drive with 49 seconds. It may seconds go in the air. I was going to say, you might get to see Bobby. Hey, before the game, Gilly, I was watching Bobby Morris on the field, and he was throwing 40 yard passes with ease. The kid's got a really nice arm. Well, if you notice, St. Mary's is going to drop way back, they are. keep the football in front. So St. Mary's, you're right, Gilly. They got two safeties on the 47-yard line. Bobby Morris is in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right, and he's got a single back off to his right shoulder. He takes the snap, looks across the field, he throws to the right. He's got his man out there across the 40 to about the 45, and a nice completion. And it looks like that's going to be a lease. That's well, going to be short of a lease yeah. for this recipe first down. That'll bring up about second and eight as they run to the line of scrimmage as the clock continues to run. St. Salina has no timeouts. Gilly St. Mary's has one. Bobby Morris goes to the gun. He's got trips to the left. He's got a single back off to his left side. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll off to the left, looking downfield. He's under pressure, and he's going to be taken down. Oh, and he's taken down right there. big time. Number 32. Taylor Compton. Taylor Compton slams Bobby Morris to the ground. And that's going to end the first half. They have no timeouts left. And the clock's going to continue to wind down. And that'll do it. At the half, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Salina Bulldogs 21-6. to We'll be back with second half action right after these messages.
We're back here at St. Mary's High School. We're just about ready to get started in the second half. The Rough Riders lead 21 to 6. I want to thank our sponsors tonight, our premier sponsor, Binkley Real Estate. They have an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaign, and extensive network that will get you with results that move you. The People's Bank is our presenting sponsor tonight. We are investing in the communities we serve, your bank, your way. And another presenting sponsor, the St. Mary's Foundry. Big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team, Go Riders. Our third quarter sponsor tonight is the Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time, cnbohio.com. So, Gilly, time of possession. This is going to blow your mind. St. Mary's 18 minutes and 30 seconds, Salina 5 minutes and 30 seconds, and one turnover by Salina, that's the story of the game. That's the story of the game, and, you know, St. Mary's right now punching that touchdown late there in the second quarter. You know, we're going to find out whether it took the sails out of Salina or not, the wind out of the sails, so to speak. Yeah, right. And, um, you know, they did not play that bad. They just didn't get the football. St. Mary's wouldn't give them the opportunity to get the football where where, uh, they could – run some offensive plays, and does it say play-wise, uh, does it say how many plays Yeah, St. Mary's each? has ran 42 plays, Salinas ran 10. See, there you go. Yeah. Now, last week I told you that St. Mary's ran 64 plays, 62 of them rushing. Tonight they've ran 42 plays, every one of them rushing. They've not thrown a ball at all. Well, and, and know, why? Why and, should and they? And why should you right. throw the football if you're contrasting, you know, excuse my language. No, I get it, no. The, the, I'm stuttering here. <laughs> Gee, many frost. Uh, why fix something if it's not broke? Exactly. And the the way that they have went about this and just handing it off and getting three, four, five yards of crack, and we talked about that. If you're Salina, you got to put them in a position third and five, third and six, because if you give them a third and two, St. Mary's is going to either get that first down or put themselves in a position for fourth and short and go for it. And with all that said, Gilly, the time of possession in St. Mary's favor, the number of plays in St. Mary's favor, I don't feel like Salina's out of this game at all. That offense, every time they're on the field, I look at them with the they're athletes dangerous. they have. They are very dangerous. They're very dangerous. And, you know, the big concern that we had was how many minutes the defenders are on the field that, for that's a great point, the green Gilly. and white. That's a great point. You know, and it, because it's still – we're sitting in here where it's cool. Yeah. But down there, I'm, you know, especially that field turf, it's going to hold heat, and it's got to be exceptionally hot for the players out there. So back deep for the Bulldogs, number 11, John Lutz. We saw him. He's dangerous. And Wesley Graber, number four. Both of those guys have had outstanding first half for the Salina Bulldogs. Yeah, you got to get the football in your athletes' hands to make plays, and Salina has a ton of them. So on both sides of the ball. Underway, the second half here at St. Mary's High School. And this will be Graber as he goes up the right side to the 20. And he'll be taken down and pushed back to the 15, to the 16. And that's where the Bulldogs will take over. Tonight's instant replay is brought to you by Layfield Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Our timeout sponsor, Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. And that's where they'll start is the 20-yard line. They'll be led back on the field by Bobby Morris. Owen oh, Otto on the stop there on the kickoff return with a solo stop. Salina racked up 83 yards in the first half, and Gilly, we talked about this, because they weren't on the field a lot. They got a man in motion. Morris takes the snap and bobbles the ball. He'll go Lutz on the left or the right side, and he picks up some big-time yardage, a gain of about seven yards. That'll bring up second three. A great first play to start the second half. Yeah, very fortunate not to put the thing on the turf, but what a great play right there to maintain possession of it and grinding yourself six, six and a half yards right there on that first opportunity is big for the Bulldogs. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School. Glad you could join us tonight as the Rough Riders lead after the half here, 21 to 6. Morris is in the gun. He's got a uh, back off to his left. He's got two to the left, one in the slot. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off to the first back up front. And that is Lutz, and he is pushed back, and he is far from a first down. And I don't know that he got maybe a yard and a half to two yards, and that's going to, oh, it's going to be a yard, Gilly. It's going to bring up third and three from the 27. Yeah, I think he wanted to cut the thing to the far side and recognized nothing there and tried to cut back and get as much as he could. But like you said, 
you've put them in a money down, as they say That's over right. here at St. Mary's at third and three. Their PA announcers are great here. Oh, love <laughs> it. great. Brings Gets up. excited. He does. Third and three from the 27. Morris is in the gun. He's got a back in the slot position off to his left. He's got a back on his shoulder, and he's got two receivers to the right side. There goes the man in motion. Morris is going to cake the ball. He's going to look across the field. He looks to throw, and he finds a man, and he's got him out there. And a completion is made at about the 34-yard oh, line. there's a flag. That's going to be a Lee's famous recipe first down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the play is. A nice completion, a little jump pass there by Bobby Morris as he jumps in the air to make the completion. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul against St. Mary's. Uh, hit in the helmet. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's using his helmet there. So that is a big-time play. What appeared to be a gain of three or four is going to turn out to be almost well, a 20 Well, I think game. he wanted to find the, the wide receiver down the sidelines on, the, on the, the, the long seam route there. And... You know, St. Mary's might might have got away with a with a hold, but uh, great execution there by Salina, looking him off and throwing it underneath, and then you've got the so that helmet put, yeah. contact. That's an extra 15, so that puts it right at midfield for the Bulldogs. Yes, it does. The ball's at the midfield. First and 10 from the 50. 10.07 to go. Morris is in the gun. He's got trips to his left. He's got a single back in the backfield with him at first and 10. He's going to take the ball, pitch the ball back to Lutz. Lutz goes to the left side, across the 50 to the 45, and he gets to about the 42 in a nice run of about eight yards for Big John Lutz. Big John got the corner turned and got as much as he could. They're going to give him credit for about six. An absolute huge drive here, Gilly, if Celina wants to get back in this game with 9.40 to go in the third quarter. I'll tell you what, Gilly, when you come over here to a football game, you ain't here long because nobody throws the ball. Nope. <laughs> that clock just no, runs, not runs, even, runs We're not, I mean, <laughs> we're not even dark it's yet. It's not even dark yet. <laughs> here comes uh, Bobby Morris in the gun. He's got one to the right, one to the left. He's going to hand it off to Lutz. Lutz goes to the right side. He's got blockers out in front of him. Gets to the 40, to across the 40 to about the 38, and he'll pick up a Lee's famous recipe first down. Run out of bounds by Parker Beam and Luke Bournes, but not until the first down by Mr. Lutz at the 38-yard line, first and 10. Our for the visitors. First down sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Adelphia, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe, where home style happens. There's nothing better than Lee's Famous Recipe, oh, Gilly. It's, it's fantastic. Good, stuff. <laughs> good eating, isn't it? Morris is in the gun. He's got a single back off to his left side. He's got two to the right, one receiver to the left. He's got a man in motion. He's going to keep it himself. He goes across the 40 to the 35. He's trying to cut the corner, and he gets past the 30 to about the 28. Bobby Morris scampers down for a nice gain of about seven yards. Well, great, you know, great vision right there. Popped it to the outside, got him about seven. Pushed out over there by Luke Borns. It's going to bring up second and three from the 31. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School. The Rough Riders lead this rivalry match 21-6. to six. We've had a dandy here tonight, and the Bulldogs trying to close the gap just a little bit more with 8.47 to go. Morris is in the gun. He's got Lutz off to his right side. He's got two to the right, two to the left. He's going to take the snap. He looks across the field. He throws to the middle, and he's got a man out there in a nice strike across the 25-yard line, and the reception made. Uh, let's see who that was, Gilly. Looks like well, he Parker Berkey. The right there, My didn't he? goodness, Parker Berkey picks up. That was an absolute bullet, Gilly, across the middle. That's going to bring up first and 10, another Lee's famous recipe first down. Bobby Morris shows you the arm strength right there. Bourne's on the stop immediately after the reception. We'll go first and 10 for the 23. They're knocking on the door of the red zone with 8.35 to go. The Bulldogs with their first possession of the second half. They turn the tables on the Rough Riders as they keep the ball for just a little bit. They'll hand the ball off to the right side. He goes across the 20. He gets to the 17 where he'll be knocked out of bounds. And that is Wesley Graber, the six foot, 170 pound junior. Wesley Graber's got a nice game. That was impressive. That was very impressive. You know, he again tried to bounce it outside, read that lead blocker and it's going to bring his backside and cut it inside and got him about seven. It's going to bring up second and four from the 17, and they are in the thermal guard and window red zone. Quality windows and doors from local company you can trust. Visit thermal guard windows or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. So here come the Bulldogs. Morris is in the gun. He's got a return. Or he's, excuse me. He's got a running back off to his right. He's got one in the slot, one to the right, one to the left. He's going to hand the ball off. No, he's going to keep it himself as he goes towards the 15-yard line. Bobby Morris had me confused. I thought he handed it off to the first man up. 
Big play there coming up from the secondary. It appeared to be number 48. We'll go Ryan. Third and three. Third and three from the 16. And you got to believe the, the, the Bulldogs, this is fourth down territory, going oh, down 21 yeah, absolutely, to 6. Absolutely, yeah. It's so, a, it's a two-play yeah, territory for them. And you, you got to feel good about what you got with Lutz and Morris in the backfield that you can pick up three yards on two carries. Sure. So we'll see what they do here. Morris is in the gun. He's got a receiver far left, one to the right, one in the slot, the running back off to his right side. There goes Graber in motion. Morris is going to keep it himself. He's going to pick up the first down. Uh, Lee's famous recipe, first down, and a big-time play by Bobby Morris. And this line of Bulldogs, another Lee's first down. He might be short, partner. Oh, my. I thought he had the first down. I thought for sure he had the first down. He may be about a yard short. Oh, my goodness. They marked it. That's not a good spot for the Bulldogs. You're right, Gilly. They have marked him short. I thought for sure that was a first down. And well, he got by the initial line of scrimmage. Yes, he One did. of the linebackers that, you know, wrapped him up and kept him from breaking away. Good job by St. Mary's so from the linebacker position to bring him down, keeping him from getting to the sticks for the first down. Here we go, fourth down, 6.24 to go. Morris is in the gun. He's got lots, Lutz off to his right side. Morris is going to take the snap. He's going Lutz up the middle, and I don't think he got it. Maybe he did on his second serve. No, they're going to make it short. John Lutz is stopped short at the 15-yard line, and the St. Mary's defense has held once again. Yeah, eight in the box right there, and good job by that front four. You know, playing the gaps and letting the linebackers fill. And, and big that, stop. And that is a big stop. That's what Salina couldn't do in the first half. They had one big stop where they got the ball back, but that was an incredible drive by Salina. They had to get something, and they got nothing. Yeah, St. Mary's, you know, they bent in that particular series, but they didn't break. That's a great point. Big stop. Yeah. So here comes Jacob Kessler and the Rough Riders. This is their first possession of the second half. They owned the first half in time of possession. They'll bring up the wing tee as they rush to the line of scrimmage. They'll go first man up front as he goes across the 20, gets pushed back to the 18, and we'll see where they mark it. They mark it about the 19. Dominic Osborne with the carry. Dominic Osborne finished that first quarter, or excuse me, that first half, 16 carries for 90 yards and a touchdown for an average of about 5.5 a carry. Mullins and Patrick on the stop for the green and white. Five forty-four to go here in the third quarter. Clock continues to run. St. Mary's leads 21 to six, second and six from the 19. They have ran 43 plays and every one of them has been on the ground and they'll keep it on the ground. And here comes Dominic Osborne off the left side. He gets another pickup of about four yards. That'll bring up third and two. They're going to call it third and one for the 24. Big Here credit, to be man. partner, Logan Bill Billerman on the stop there. Big credit, Gilly, to that St. Mary's offensive line. And they've been churning them out all night. We haven't mentioned those big kids up front tonight, but they have done an outstanding job. So here goes Kessler to the line. He's going to hand off to the first man up, and they'll pick up another Lee's famous recipe first down. And I believe that was, let's see who the ball carrier was as they sort out the pile. Dominic Osborne, again, number 24, as he gets another carry. I mean, their gaps are so closed up. Can you even put a piece of paper in between? <laughs> you know, the yeah. guards and the centers and the, the guards and the tackles. Bring up first and 10 from the 28. Another Lee's famous recipe first down with 4.24 to go. Clock continues to run. Rough Riders lead 21 to 6. Kessler gets into the line in a hurry. He's going to get to Colton Mabry. He'll go right side. Here goes Mabry to the 30. He gets around the edge to the 35, to the 40, and he'll be taken out of bounds by number six for the Salina Bulldogs, and that is Corbin Lehman, the 5'9", 185-pound senior. Boy, Corbin Lehman was out there on an island by himself, and he met Colton Mabry head on. Yeah, and uh, he come up a little bit gimpy right there. That's a heck of a shot that Colt Mabry took from Lehman over here on this near side. And I don't know whether he come up woozy, but he's yeah. over on the bench right now. Yeah, he went off to the sidelines. Hope so. he's okay. That was a heck of a shot he took. He's a nice player. And it was, it was a clean hit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So first and 10 from the 39. 
Here goes Osborne off the right side, and he gets through that pile, and he picks up about eight yards. Dominic Osborne, looks like he stopped, and he gets eight yards. I like that word, slither. <laughs> Graber on the stop. It is second and one. The ball is spotted ahead of the marker. I don't understand that, Gilly. Look, look at the ball, Martin. Look where the marker is. They're trying to get people excited. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not coming down on the officials, but the ball's in front of the marker. They're going to pick it up there. There he's gone. And there he goes. Down the to the 10-yard line. There we see Caleb Schmidt get some action. Caleb Schmidt runs it down, and he takes it into the thermal guard red zone, and the Riders are right back in business. Yeah, Kalen Wirtz right there saved the touchdown from the corner spot to 6-1 senior. Great effort right there. He could have given up on the play, but chased him down. Bring up first and 10 from the 12. 3-10 to go here in the third quarter. Riders continue to lead 21-6, knocking on the door of another touchdown. Kessler gets him up to the line. He's going Owen Schmidt again, and he picks up maybe about a yard. Excuse me, that is Caleb Schmidt. Caleb Schmidt, back-to-back -back carries. He's got seven carries on the evening. Seven carries for 60 yards. Averaging about 8.7 a carry. Pick up second and seven from the nine. 2.42 to go on the Wabash Mutual scoreboard. Partner, you may have to help me out here. Yeah, you're in a bad position to see. Yep. I got I got you, Gilly. Second and seven from the nine. Kessler gets him to the line quick. He's going to hand the ball off to Schmidt again as he goes up the middle, and he is stuffed right there, and he's thrown back maybe, maybe a yard if they give it to him. That will bring up a third down with 2.18 to go. And look, St. Mary's is content to let that clock run. They're in the red zone. It's 21-6. They know exactly what they're all about. Their goal here, possession, time possession, and get six points. Absolutely. Yep, you're absolutely right. They have ran the ball 50 times tonight. They have passed the ball none, and there's no reason for them to pass. Kessler gets the play as he runs in. One fifty to go, third and five from the seven. Ball's pitched back. Here's Osborne, here, excuse me. And he almost gets it into the end zone. Dominic Osborne goes to the right side, and he is short of a touchdown. And that's going to bring up fourth and what are they calling it? Fourth and one? Is that what they're calling it? Looks like at the two. Yeah, fourth and one. But they can get a first down. They can get a first down, yeah. They sure can. 123 to go. Yeah, what's going on now? Part oh, they're gonna do a measurement. A measurement. And do a little measurement action here. Fourth and one. They think they may have a uh, first down. We'll see. It looks like they're gonna be a little bit short, but they're gonna mark it here. Yeah, they're gonna be. They're going to be about a nose of the football short, and the official holds it up, and about a nose short. So uh, fourth and one. Here we go, partner. Fourth and one from the three-yard line. A big play here for both these squads. Have you noticed is Mabry back in? Mabry is back in okay, the game right now. that's great to see. Yeah, Osborne and Mabry are in the game right now. Kessler gets into the line quick. He's going to hand off to Osborne, and Osborne is short of a touchdown, but he may have a first down. We'll see Salinas jumping up and down like they've stopped him. But i got to be honest with you, I don't think they stopped him. I think he got a first down. Okay, the official. And the official just said it's another Lee's famous recipe first down. So with 1.15 to go, the St. Mary's Rough Raiders are going to get four cracks to the end zone from the one-yard line. <laughs> you gotta Try stopping that, partner. you got to believe he's going to find the end zone. Absolutely. In one of these four spots. 1.15 to go here in the third quarter. And that's no disrespect oh, to no, Salinas. No, no, no. Salinas played a nice ball game tonight. This is just a machine they're dealing with. Kessler's going to keep it himself, and he scores a touchdown. Another Pantry Pride touchdown. Big number 14, Jacob Kessler, the quarterback, takes it in for a Pantry Pride touchdown. 
Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. With 103 to go in the third quarter, the St. Mary's Rough Riders take a commanding 27-6 lead. Brady Tripp will come on to kick the Wright State University extra point. Good for Jacob Kessler. He didn't get much reward. He's been handing the ball off all night. He gets he a little has. reward. <laughs> His running backs made sure he got in oh, there, too. Oh, they did, did the old Bush push, didn't they? Reggie Bush made it famous years ago at USC. Snap is back. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is good. So with 103 to go in the third quarter, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead this line of Bulldogs 28-6. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School with 103 to go here in the third quarter. The Rough Riders have extended this lead to 28 to 6. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School on a beautiful football Friday night, week two of the Ohio High School football season. We got scores from all around the area. We'll try to update you as soon as we can here with some of these scores. But uh, right now here at St. Mary's, the Rough Riders in control of this one, 28 to 6. And Gilly, the cheerleaders have brought out the fire sticks. They're over there twirling fire. Over here to your right. You well, see this? we've seen that. We've, we've seen also that. seen a few drones. Oh, I know. This is <laughs> drones. We've seen fire sticks. We've been treated great, though. <laughs> we can One. see cars coming up 33 <laughs> with headlights. <laughs> There's the kick, and it is taken at the three yard line. They'll go to the right side. This is Graber. Gets across the 30 to the 35 to the 40. Leslie Graber with a nice job of bringing it to the 40-yard line. So that's where the Slina Bulldogs will take over, down 28 to 6 with 54 seconds to go. Parker Beam on the stop. Tonight's timeout sponsor, Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable and available. 800-776-3097. So Bobby Morris will bring the Bulldogs out on this one. First and 10 from the 40, 54 seconds. Need something big to happen here. Try to get back in this game. Morris is in the gun. He's got running back off to his left shoulder, and he's got trips to the left. He's going to go John Lutz up the right side, and he is nothing there. In fact, I believe he loses a yard, Gilly, as he gets pushed back behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to go second and 10 from the 40. And I believe Salina is going to be content to let this run the clock out and get to the fourth quarter. Now they're going to try to run a playoff here before play clock. Yeah, they're going to have to play clocks down to 15, game clocks at 19. So Morris is in the gun. He's got trips to his left. He's got Lutz off to his right shoulder. He's going to take the snap. Looks across the field. He's going to go deep down the right side, and he just overshoots his intended receiver. And that is Wesley Graber. Or no, excuse me. That is number five. Excuse me. Corbin Lehman, number six. Yeah. Clock stops with six Good seconds. Good job with coverage right there by Luke Borns for the Rough Riders. Running stride for stride. Appears we got a bulldog down. Appears to be, looks like cramps. Yeah, you're right, and he is on the turf. Uh, oh, he is in some pain, Gilly, as he is rolling around. We're going to let them take care of him. We're going to step aside. We'll take another break. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Back here at St. Mary's High School with six seconds to go in the third quarter. The injured player was Bobby Morris, the quarterback. Uh, so we'll have to see who is in at quarterback right now for the Bulldogs. Here's to be number 10, partner. You're right, number 10. He's going to look across the middle. He's under heavy pressure, rolls to the right side. He throws downfield, and it is, are they saying a completion or incompletion? Uh, it was it? caught. Caught. It was caught right about the 50-yard line. The throw was made by number 10, Cohen Harder. How about the that? Coming off the bench, left. not throwing the football at all other than during warm-ups and Goodness. throwing a strike, and not only that, Give the credit to the receiver to find that first down yard marker. And that'll end three quarters of play from St. Mary's High School. Heading into the fourth quarter, the St. Mary's Rough Riders with a commanding 28-6 lead. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after these messages.
Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Our fourth quarter sponsor tonight is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Our premier sponsor tonight is Binkley Real Estate. And our two presenting sponsors, the People's Bank and St. Mary's Foundry. We appreciate all your support. Thank you very much for watching high school football and supporting high school football on WOSN. Danny Homer, Darren Gilbert, start of the fourth quarter. Gilly, all St. Mary's tonight, partner. They are flexing their muscle, putting the WBL on warning. Well, yeah, they're putting the WBL on warning by running the football and running the football to a high efficiency rate, you know, churning out yards and keep, when you do that with the style of St. Mary's plays, you keep the opponent their defense on the field and not give them the opportunity to Cohen get Harder. any momentum offensively. Nice throw the ball Harder right there. with a nice throw across the middle of the field, and Wesley Graber drops the ball. Nice pass, but Cohen Harder's still in the game. you got to believe. Uh, we, I'd like to get a report on Bobby Morris, and as soon as we find something out, we'll let you know. But uh, their quarterback, Bobby Morris, did go off the field, and Cohen Harder right now is in playing the position for the Bulldogs. He looked like he was in a lot of pain. He was in the, on the yeah, over there. you know, yeah. I first initially thought it was cramps yeah. with being such a humid night, but apparently it's more than cramps. Harder's in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He's got two receivers to the right. He takes the snap. He's going to throw off to the left side, and it's a, that ball's a live ball. That's on the turf, and that is St. Mary's ball. That was a live ball, Gilly. That was right behind the quarterback. Sure he threw was. it backwards. That is a no-doubter. And Salina's going to contest that, but that was behind the line of scrimmage. And that's yeah, going to yeah. That's a bubble toss. And like you said, the ball went behind the line of scrimmage. That's a live football. The, the uh, officials are all meeting at the 40 yard line, but I got to believe they're going to call that St. Mary's ball. Okay. Incomplete pass. Gilly, that was behind the line of scrimmage. My goodness. Wow. That's why they're calling the game, and we're announcing the game, partner. That's right. Oh, I'm not putting the officials down. Oh, no. They got a tough job. Hey, you betcha. We got air-conditioned booth. <laughs> He's got one side they're going to make happy, and the other That's side's right. not going to be happy. So Cohen Harder back in the game for the Bulldogs. They're calling an incomplete third and 10 from the 50. 11.47 to go here in the fourth quarter. Beautiful night from St. Mary's High School. Harder's in the gun. He's got two to the left. He's got a single back off to his right shoulder. He's going to keep it himself. There goes Harder across the 50 to the 45 to the 40. And Cohen Harder picks up at least famous recipe. First down, a nice run by the junior quarterback. Good job there by that young man coming in, getting the first down for the Bulldogs. Dam Iyer on the stop for the Rough Riders, but not until the visitors cross that first down marker. Or... Yes, it's going to yep. be a first down. It's going to be a least famous SP first down. Our instant replay tonight brought to you by Layfield Industrial Loading Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Hey, he looks he looks comfortable. He does. He do, you're absolutely right. He does not look nervous and uh, looks like he uh, has prepared to take this job here. And he's doing a nice job. So 11-11 to go. He takes the snap. He's going to roll off to his left. Looks downfield. He's under heavy pressure, and he's going to be taken down. Tried to get the pass off. They're going to call that an incomplete pass. The Cohen pressure Harder. was just too extreme right there by the Rough Riders, but they had a receiver wide open inside yes, the did. 20. He just couldn't get the, the, well, the what pressure happened, was he went too to much. A, yeah, he went to his left, and when the receiver was open, he had to come back to his Could right. Could never get his feet yeah. set. So he was trying to avoid the rush. That, yeah, that – that, hey, look, that St. Mary's defensive line is no joke, oh. brother. There's something else. They, and they can run. Else. Yes, they can. They close and they close quick. He did all he could do. I bring up second and 10 from the 38. St. Mary's continues to lead 28 6, 11 01 to go in the fourth quarter on the Wabash Mutual scoreboard. Harder in the gun. He's got Lutz off to his left, and the play is stopped. He handed the ball off to Parker Berkey, but the play was stopped. And they're going to say delay a game. And that's the kind of stuff you're going to see from a, from a new quarterback sure. into a game like this. Yeah, you just hope that Mr. Harris is okay. Bobby Morris. Or yeah, Morris, yeah, yeah, excuse yep, me. Yep. My apologies. Gilly, those cars over there look like they're flying, don't they? <laughs> Look like they're up above. Well, we've it. seen drones flying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I 
They got them little lights like airplanes. I'm, what in the world? <laughs> so Arter's in the gun. He's got Parker Berkey off to his left shoulder. He's got three to the left, one to the right. He's going to keep it himself. There goes Harder across the 40, almost to the 40. He gets pushed back at about the 39, a gain of about three yards. That'll bring up third down. Man, you got to love the spirit of Taylor Compton. <laughs> that cat knows how to play the game. Well, he just yeah. gets excited and just pumps the rest of his teammates up. So here we go, 10-31 to go here in the fourth quarter. 28-6, St. Mary's continues to lead. Harder's in the gun. Got a man in motion. Harder looks across the middle under heavy pressure. He tries to avoid it. He's got a man out there across the 40, and he tries to avoid the tackle, and he gets to about the 38-yard line. That's where he'll be thrown down. And that'll bring up a big time fourth down. And if you're Salina Gilly, fourth, fourth down in the fourth quarter, down 28-6, you got to go for it. Well, that's that's what you you, you want to believe that they want to go for it. And I think, like you said, they are going to try and go for it. Tackle right there by Ryan Ruvolt for the Rough Riders, along with his teammates. Host of them. Here goes Harder in the gun. He's got trips off to his left. He's got two receivers to the right. He's going to take five out in a package. He gets the snap, looks across the middle under heavy pressure, and he's thrown down. Are you kidding me? Number 26, Wesley Blair, comes out of his defensive back Whoa. position and just throws him to the ground. Well, and he came untouched. He came from this near side, and there was no chip block or anything. He just had a direct... Path beeline right there to the quarterback. That is that is really good coaching. We haven't seen that safety blitz all night. No, that is really good that coaching. Is, that's, yes. <laughs> I'm telling well, you. you know, you're looking at an inexperienced kid at the quarterback position too. Why not? Yeah, why not? You want to flush him. You want to make him feel uncomfortable. And you know, the play before he kept his composure and threw the little out pass right there to uh, I'm trying to think who that was. They'll on go this side, but hand uh, off to the left side. You want to you want to make him have happy feet, and that's exactly why St. Mary's drew that up and called that, and they got positive results. Caleb Schmidt on the carry, bring up uh, second and let's call it five, second five maybe. They have not put it on the board yet. Let's say about six, partner. They've got fourth and nine on the board, okay, and I know that's, that's okay. not right. I know that's. <laughs> yeah, second, second and six. <laughs> we'll call it second and six. And they'll go off to the left side, pick up about three yards. That's going to bring up about third and two, or maybe less. Wait, Boy, I'll you know tell what? you what. I'm going to give a lot of credit to Corbin, Lehman, and Ian Mullins at the linebacker spots tonight for Salina. They've been in on a ton of tackles. 55 plays for the Riders tonight, all of them on the ground. And I love the fact that they're using Caleb Schmidt now. They really batter ram him with Mabry and Dominic Osborne, and Caleb Schmidt's picking up some big yardies now, now that uh, he's out of the game and Mabry comes in. And they'll go Mabry right up the middle. And here he goes. The big battering ram goes across the 35 to about the 32. He gives the Lee's famous recipe signal. First down First for the Riders. Down. <laughs> He's excited. Colton Mabry rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, knocking Bulldogs down on the way. Choo-choo. Colton Choo-Choo Mabry. He's a train coming <laughs> Let through. Let that one stick, They too. used to have the train tracks over here before they built the new stadium. We were talking about that at the break. Well, yeah, you know. That would have been great for Colton Mabry. Had a big train whistle. Choo-Choo. Yep, yeah. old chill code in, Dalton yeah. chill code in on the stop. Well, remember, we're the one that come up with one of what was uh, Parker Krim from Elida. We called him the Krim Reaper. Yeah, yeah. But what's the one at OG? Oh, yeah, Grady Tomazo. <laughs> we called him G3. Yeah. We, we got all kinds of GT names. for three. GT for three. Yeah. So we got the choo choo now. Yeah, that's right. Gilly, we, we, we cover a lot of games, you and I do. People's going to start telling us to give yeah. them nicknames. <laughs> we bring up second and two for the 25. Clock continues to run. Seven You know, seven, we said joke go. about it, but you know what? Bringing that kid down. Oof. Oh, my goodness. That's a job and a half, isn't it? Well, he's, he's the type of kid he won't. 
run around you. He'll run through you. He's just a punishing. There goes the drones again. Go both, of them, both of them on the field. That's pretty That's pretty sweet. And we're getting on airplanes this weekend. That's right. <laughs> Another run up the middle. Gain of a maybe, maybe a yard. And they're going to say that was Dominic Osborne. Mullins on the stop. And he picked up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. I want to thank Lee's Famous Recipe, our first down sponsor tonight. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Dolphins, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catered needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Clock continues to run. They took this ball with just over nine minutes to go, and they are churning out yards. They'll go handoff to the left side, and he's going to take it over the 10-yard line. And that is number eight, Luke Rammel. That is his first carry of the night. Luke Rammel getting some time on the turf there tonight. They get Wesley Graber on the stop. They just got a stable of running back skill. It doesn't matter who touches the ball. This is unbelievable. Gilly, th th this is interesting. This brings up. This showdown between Wapakoneta and St. Mary's in a few weeks dandy. is going to be an absolute street fight. Mm -hmm. Another Route 33 <laughs> right. showdown. They'll go number 38 right up the middle, and he is towards the goal line. Caleb Schmidt carrying the load there. They'll go first and goal from, let's see where they mark it at, to two-yard line. So. Now that's second and goal, pardon me. Second and goal from the two. Five yards a crack, 60, 60 carries, carries, 302 yards on the ground. Yeah, that's unbelievable. That, that, is, that is impressive. Well, when you look what Salina's done, they're averaging 5.3. They've, uh, they've had 123 yards on the ground. They've done well for themselves. There's the ball, and it goes in. And there you go, another Pantry Pride touchdown. Here to be number 38. Big partner. number 38, Caleb Schmidt. And there they fire the gun again. The St. Mary's Rough Riders score another Pantry Pride touchdown, and they lead 34 to 6. Yeah, they're playing on all cylinders right now. And Gilly, have you ever seen a team in, in, in the second week of the football season that looks this impressive? I mean, this is something else. I. We've seen football well, wanna, teams all I over the country. I want to ask you another question. Yeah. Have you seen a flag on the field against St. Mary's No, tonight? No, they're the, they're the most disciplined team I've seen. Extra point try is up by Brady Triplett, and it is. You know, who good. did Mark? Mark made a comment on the radio today about a ball club that only had two. Remember, there was two penalties in the game. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But I can't yeah, remember who it was. was. Well, we got a game tonight where I don't think there's been a flag on the field, if unless I'm wrong. Not on St. Mary's. Not on St. Mary's. Been a couple on St. Salina, Mary's, yeah. but there's been a couple on Salina. There was the helmet, the the the, the unsportsmanlike conduct, uh, with the one penalty. Remember okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking line 52 to your yep. left partner. Yep. Yep. All penalties. Okay, there's been three. Yep. My yep. apologies. Uh, well, All on the defense it, for 35 yards for St. Mary's. But it's been a dandy, yeah. And only two against Salina for 10 yards. So both ball clubs have played fundamental football. It's, it's been time management. Time of possession. St. Mary's 27-42, Salina 14-58. Yeah, and that, that's, been the, that's been the difference in the game is uh, the ability for them not only get first downs but sustain drives and not turn it over. They are just on the doorstep, Gilly, of having Getting three, three backs over 100 yards. Okay. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. They've got... Uh, four touchdowns scored by all three backs. And uh, remember, Jacob Kessler put one in the end zone, too. We credited him for that. Sure. Yeah, so 5.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. St. Mary's clearly in the lead here at 35-6. to six. Salina's got two back at the five-yard line. Brady Triplett will send this one deep. And there's the kick. And it is up, and it is deep. He'll field it right at the goal line. He'll go across the 10 to the 15. And he is pushed back to the 11, and he'll go to about the 13-yard line where, that's he'll, where that is where he'll be taken out of bounds with 5-12 to go in the fourth quarter. You know, Slime is going to get on the bus tonight. They're going to see the score. You know, a big discrepancy in the score, but you can't fault their effort, number one. And number two, 
they are going to get better. They proved it last year. That's a they great know, point. They know what it's like to win. They know the taste of it. They know what it takes. And this is where you lean on your senior leadership. And they're going to regroup. They, they did last year. And I Absolutely. You brought that up. Look, Gilly, they, they had the turnover early in the game, which cost them. They got down two scores. They came back. They took a drive down the field, go 14-6. They're right back in the game. And then, remember, St. Mary's had a huge fourth down stop. And went in the score. Yep, exactly. So Harder with the ball as he throws to the left side to the boundary, and that's overthrown. And that'll bring up second and 10 from the 14. Our quarter sponsor tonight, Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time. Wabash Mutual Telephone has been our scoreboard sponsor tonight. So many good sponsors. We appreciate that from all of the good folks who are sponsoring this broadcast. We could not do it without you. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from St. Mary's High School. Rough Riders lead 35-6. Hope you're enjoying this broadcast. And, and Harder loses the ball, and he recovers it, and he's going to be taken down at about the four-yard line. So another bad snap there. Well, good uh, job by that young man just covering it up instead of trying to pick it up. And they lost a few yards there, but they keep maintain possession. So they're going to mark it at the six-yard line. That'll be third and 18 for Cohen Harder. St. Mary's is not set on the defensive side of the ball yet. Salina runs to the line with 4.30 to go. Harder's in the gun. He's got to back off to his left. He's going to hand the ball off to the back. He goes across the 10-yard line. He'll be taken down at about the 11. And a penalty on the field, and I'm not real sure what that's about. But a nice open field tackle yes, by the St. I'm not sure who that was. I can't get a number. I think it was... 48, and I could be totally wrong, but from up here, partner, it looked like 48. Let's see what they're going to call here, but I did not see. Which was Ryan. Personal foul against St. Mary's. Oh, they're going to say okay. they're going to say offsetting personal fouls. Okay. St. Mary's must have been a little bit of chirping. I, I was going to say I did not see any physical altercation. You're right. Maybe each of them said something, and that's what the flags were thrown for. So uncharacteristic like for St. Mary's to get a, another unsportsmanlike. Here's something like unusual. <laughs> We're going to see a punt tonight, our Billy. <laughs> our first punt. And the uh, St. Mary's Rough Riders have a man. Drake Ward is back deep at the 45-yard line. Going to put St. Mary's in great field position. And the punt is up. And it is a good one. It is fielded at the 45 as he spins around, gets a block. He's at the 45, to the 40, to the 35. There he goes, down the field to the 30, to the 25, cuts back to the 20. What a, did you see that cut back, Gilly? That was great a great <laughs> cut back, but I also seen something yellow go flying in the air. Right. Yeah, we got a block up here in the back. I think it's going to be a block in the back. Yeah, yeah. Trey Moore with the electric return there tonight. Heck of a return there by sure that was. young man. Sure was. See Change that of direction. You'll have to watch that uh, Layfield Industrial instant oh. replace, <laughs> Gilly. Hopefully tomorrow at 3.30 we'll see a little bit of that. Actually, a lot of that. <laughs> Buckeyes open up against the Akron Zips. They are a 50.5 favorite, Gilly. I don't think there's any doubt that they'll probably win that game. We just got to get everybody out of there healthy. Yes. <laughs> well, and you're going to see if that is the case, you know, you play the game, you don't play it on paper. On paper, obviously, it's Ohio State. You want to get out of there healthy and you want to get some depth. That's you want to get point. those second and third stringers. Some that's depth. A, that's a great point. So we'll go first and 10 from the 50. That's where St. Mary's will take over. He'll hand the ball off to the first guy up, and he'll go across the 45 to the 40. we got some new faces in the game now for the Rough Riders. Number 17, Aiden Minerding, is the junior quarterback in the game. 
You heard the press, or you heard the guys up here in the press say he's the future of, of uh, St. Mary's, the quarterback there, that young man. Parker Berkey on the stop for the green and white Salina Bulldogs. Clock continues to run. We're down to 3.08. St. Mary's leads 35 to 6. You've got to believe they're going to use every bit of that play clock. Starters are all out of the game right now for St. Mary's. So we'll try to get you these numbers and names of these young men who are getting their playing time. Oh, it looked like somebody jumped on the right side of the line. Everybody's a little anxious right now. Yeah, that one's going to go five yards. Back the South. other way. Back the, I was going to say back the other way. I want to thank Wright State tonight. They are extra point and field goal sponsor. Whether you're interested in an associate or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. So, Gilly, the Rough Riders are going to own the lake for a while. Is that the trophy? You get it, You get the lake, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can give a 33 because there's a 33 <laughs> sitting about 20 minutes this way. <laughs> No, he had the ball off to the right side. He goes through the middle. That's number 11 for the Riders. Dylan Fink, the 5'7", 150-pound sophomore, gets his time here. Clock continues to run. We're Quick. at 2.20. Gilly, great doing job. We're great doing work with you. Oh, tonight. looking forward got, to it all season, yeah, partner. Yeah, we, we got a ton of games, you and I, together. Best Absolutely. Of luck, yeah, best of luck this week as you and I are both going to do a little vacation and get away for a while, but we'll be back next weekend for our broadcast. And then after next week, it's you and I for the rest of the season, brother. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you're all Friday. I'm all, right? but, but I got the LCC carry okay. game Saturday night at Lima Stadium. So, is that the one you're breaking in? Uh, Kelsey Beimer will be no, my no, partner. No. Yeah. What's her name? Kelsey Beimer will be my partner. Yeah. Princess of Positivity. That's right, the Princess of Positivity. She'll she should do a great job. She will do a great job. Boy, she's very knowledgeable about sports, yeah. and she is. She uh, does a heck of a job uh, at the radio station. Yes. Lima. Yeah, yeah so. talking about the athletes in West Central and. Ohio and looking forward to that game. Cold water all the way to Defiance to the Indiana border. Who, she scopes them out and who do you she have talks about them. Who do you have next week? Well, you asked me to quick. <laughs> who do? We're down to 113 to go. And Minerding takes it across for another Lee's famous recipe. First down. Next week. Bring up first and 10. I don't know, some, know what I'm doing sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm with Patrick, and we are at Wapakoneta versus the Titans. Oh, you're going to have to give me a report on the uh, Wapakoneta Redskins. I'm going to have to give a report on them. I watched a little bit of highlights on them, and I'm telling you, the coach's son can throw the football. Absolutely. Caleb Moyer, big time Caleb time Moyer, nice basketball player for him, just a good athlete. You know, last we had checked, Ottawa Glandorf was leading over Kenton at Ottawa Glendorf. And they're gonna take a knee and that is gonna do it. That'll be the last play of the game. The St. Mary's Rough Riders defeat their cross county rivals, the Salina Bulldogs, 35 to six. Gilly, your assessment of this one, what a performance by the Rough Riders. Well, I think it all started with your play up front and your ability to run the football for you know long, Gains, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Not putting it on the on the field, on the turf, and you know, Salina unfortunately had a huge turnover in there, and then a loss on downs where they, you know, didn't convert, and St. Mary's punched it in. I think that was the difference in the game, and ball control, time management, and you had Salina on their heels, and they could just never recuperate. But I'm telling you, they're going to be a team that's going to be reckoned with. In the Western Buckeye League, it's you know it's 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 a shame that both ball clubs have to come right out of the shoot in their opening uh, league play. But WBL rule is, I believe, is every two years, and then you flip the schedule from the back end to the front end, and they opened up uh, what a big win for St. Mary's here at home for the Rough Riders, and a lot of good things coaches can take from this film, and as we move into week three next week. And that'll do it from St. Mary's High School. The final score, the St. Mary's Rough Riders 35, the Salina Bulldogs 6. For Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook, and our entire WSN crew, Sam, we'll see you next week. You've been watching high school football on WOSN.